So let's just take a moment and discuss our Linda videos that we're uh, supposed to be watching this week. This is the demonstrational portion of the course. This is what you'd be receiving from me if we were sitting in a classroom together. I would be demoing um, something very similar to what Bill does in the XHTML and HTML central training. So just follow what I recommend, you know, follow along with him with your text editor, read my commentary that I provide for the different videos, and then complete the assignments which coincide with Bill's videos as well. So I would highly encourage you to watch these um, if you haven't been, because this is really what I believe that you need to watch to be successful in this course. I mean, just learning from the book is fine, um, but having someone actually demo for you using Notepad++ will really help you be successful. So I encourage you to watch, download the template files, work with the template files, pause, um, you know, try uh, edit his code, do other things with it, you know, explore. Um, and then, you know, ask the class if you have questions. I think we're not watching as many videos as we've watched the previous two weeks, so take a little bit of a breather. But then again, the, the concepts of the th or essentially the things that we're getting into with CSS is a little bit more in depth. It takes a little bit more uh, brain power, so to speak. Um, they're a little bit more complex. So this week, we're finally getting into learning about tables, and we're also learning, we're starting to get into CSS. One of the favorite things about uh, this, uh, this course, as well as your book, is that it integrates CSS pretty much from, from the start. So in terms of inline CSS, but this week we're finally going to be getting into actually embedding CSS at the top of, of a page to control the design of an entire page. And eventually in the course, we're actually gonna be creating an external style sheet to um, allow the CSS to control multiple pages. Such a powerful way to visually design our websites. So anyway, so how do we get to these resources? I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly show you how to do that again. You're gonna click on the informational, uh, informational services workshop link. You're gonna log into Linda. Since I've already logged on to Linda, um, it takes me straight in, but normally you'd have to input your username and connections ID. Go up here to subject, web interactive, then make sure that you're filtering it with HTML and HTML5 and HTML. You're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to get to Bill's XHTML and HTML Essential Training. And this week we are watching the videos Tables, Chapter 5, and then we're also watching CSS, Introduce, Introduction to CSS. We're going to be watching, we're not, we're skipping the Frames chapter and we're not going to be getting to Forms until Week 5. This is week three, next week is your midterm. So keep in mind that everything that you've learned from weeks one and two, and especially this week when it comes to tables and CSS, is gonna be utilized on your midterm. So good luck with that. Anyways, so you're going to be clicking on introduction to tables. And here's Bill talking about tables. Tables in. So I have provided you commentary on those two chapters. So what you're going to do is you would come to the tables area. I have provided you commentary on the tables chapter and the CSS chapter. Download the exercise files. You're going to click on this link, save the zip file uh, to perhaps your downloads folder or your uh, desktop, and then unzip that file to utilize the, the files that Bill mentions. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Save, go to my downloads folder, I'm going to open mine with WinZip. Remember, WinRAR is a free one. I'm going to hit Extract. Now I have everything for Chapter 3 all within here. So this is everything that you would need to be successful with Chapter 3. And then I provide you commentary on each of the videos and how what Bill is saying relates to our class. Then at the bottom, I give you a mini assignment. For one, I'm asking you to first pat yourself on the back because we're now to this point in the course, and at least if you're reading this, you've stuck with me. Because um, I know that the, the course is kind of heavy at the beginning, but I'm promising it's going to lighten up, but we're really going to start focusing on our term projects. And that's the, what these assignments help us to do, is to start building pages for our term projects. So here I tell you what you need to do to get ready for your term project. Uh, to, to, I mean, to do this one part of the assignment. You go ahead and do that, and then you can advance and watch Bill's chapter, um, chapter seven. No, I'm sorry, chapter eight. 
download the files for chapter eight, watch what he's talking about, watch what he's talking about and following along with him, but then also review what I'm telling you in terms of what you need to know with those videos. And then you get down here to the bottom, uh, to the bottom, and it gives you the assignment for uh, that part, uh, for that chapter eight. This week's assignment is only two parts, so you complete the first part, complete the second part, and then you submit it just like we did last week.